What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick here back again with another video. It is currently 3.30 in the morning, so you might want to turn up your volume because I can't talk too loud. Uh, but Blackpink the show is over, I can't believe it. I took some notes on my phone as I was watching um, because I wanted to be able to talk about it. But if you are new to this channel and you're a blink like myself, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Join the Andy gang. But man, the show was everything that we wanted. It literally was so much fun the choreo, the the different versions of the songs. I have it all written down. I'm going to be going through a bunch of key points during the show. Of course, we have to be talking about Rosé's solo, her B-side, um, All My Love Is Gone. But damn, all the stages, everything were insane. So we might as well get right into it. So the first thing I kind of wanted to talk about was a track from the album, of course, and that was Crazy Over You. And guys, if I'm looking down, it is because I'm reading part of my notes because I have some things that I really wanted to touch on. But that song live, imagine actually being in the arena for that. That song is going to be insane when they go on tour, hopefully in the next couple of years because of what's going on in the world right now. We need everybody to be safe. But the choreo for that was insane was absolutely insane you're going to hear the word insane a lot in this video but crazy over you um from the album like the the way that they performed it here you're going to hear it a lot in here too when i say they ate the cd because they literally sound identical live because that's how good they are let's be real um the don't know what to do stage it's one of the greatest blackpink songs of all time we know that like it was like shiny diamond icy type of feel like it was like really uh like i don't know how to explain it but keep in mind guys it is 3 30 in the morning here i'm trying to function properly so i apologize but the reworking of the song um like literally like i i put here like loki made me cry because like i was like tearing up during this like the way that they performed this was insane uh, they reworked a lot of songs in here and by that i mean like they literally like remixed it pretty much and this version here was one of my favorites that they did the entire night. Don't Know What To Do is already incredible. Um, but, um, you know, the reworking of it, insane. Playing With Fire, you know, I always have to mention that. You guys seen my Dear Black Pink video. If you haven't, make sure to go check it out. Um, but definitely, uh, it's always good to hear that song. I had to say it. I, I just, I love watching them perform that. The day that I get to see them do that live is going to be one of the best days of my life. Um, so, uh I don't know. It just it just felt special. I don't know. Uh, the whole thing felt special. All of their performances literally felt like a legacy performance, and I'm going to get to that later. Um, but damn, just so awesome. The next thing, Jisoo. Yo, Queen Jisoo just put out for every... Yo, dude, that was insane. So I believe the song was Habits that she did. Her vocals, the reworking of everything... I said here, like literally showing her vocal abilities. She's insane. She's one of the best vocalists out there. Um, she can do anything. She can take any song and make it her own. I cannot wait for her solo or um, what do they call that? Like OST or whatever. I can't remember what they exactly call it, but like in Snowdrop, like is she going to have a song there too? She must. But her solo songs are going to be insane. Like imagine we get a, like another like Yuki no Hana type. Yo, Queen Jisoo, Miss Korea, that's, like, she's she's insane. Her vocals are insane. That's that's all she needs is, like, to, to show you her vocals, and she, she kills it every single time. Every single time. It doesn't matter what she does. They all killed it throughout the night, but this Jisoo solo stage, insane. Lisa, the vocals, man, we all know it. Like, people seem to think that she just raps, like, that she has... Like, she never, like, has any vocals. But, dude, like, do you even listen to their music? Like, she sings quite a bit, actually. And this, this say-so performance, okay, vocals. I said it in here as well. She can literally do anything. The dance break was insane. Um, the Like, the raps, the way that she put together the raps and say-so. Like, she did everything herself. Like, they all literally put their all into this. Like, every single stage, they all had their own, you know, twist and their own um, way of doing things. The way that she did the raps, the way she put everything together, just absolutely excellently done. Um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I was not expecting her to do Say So. Uh, I was trying to like guess to see what kind of song she'd be doing, but I never would have guessed she would have went with a vocal track, but she just showed her duality. She showed that she can literally do everything. It's not a big surprise to me. All right, so 
Sour Candy was next. Okay, this one, I said that the dances were really cool for this. I, I wasn't sure if they were going to do it because, of course, Lady Gaga can't be there. Imagine how cool it would have been if Lady Gaga was there. But this is Blackpink, the show, okay? Um, this was like sass and power at the same time. That's what I literally wrote down. Um, I felt like really proud watching this performance like this was just a song that like kind of opened the eyes of like maybe some non-k-pop fans to blackpink and then them performing this year incredible absolutely incredible uh the outfits i was kind of like feeling the lady gaga type of vibe because lady gaga always has like these vibrant like different type of outfits and i feel like during that performance they kind of had that as well so that was really cool to see um the love to hate me like kind of remix version Yo, this is one of the best performances of the night, in my opinion. Um, the raps and vocals front and center. They didn't need to overpower the instruments or the background, anything like that. This was them like, yo, love to hate me. Here's the vocals. Here's the raps. The Lisa rap. Did you see her face and everything? The like, the like when you when you perform, you need to have like. Um, like, there needs to be other elements than just your voice. Like, obviously, dancing and stuff like that. But, like, facial expressions is huge. Lisa literally just took her rap and turned it into, like, a movie in front of our eyes. Like, it was insane. Um, I, I was like, damn, I got to see that again. But we got to wait for the rebroadcast and everything like that. But insane. Absolutely incredible. They all killed it. But, damn, that rap, like, really set the tone uh, for that performance. Um, that went right into my favorite song from the album, uh, You Never Know. Again, just the song hits me every single time. The vocal performance was incredible. Uh, they never, I've said incredible probably 50 million times, but it's actually insane like this. And I've said insane a lot. It's it's better than me just saying fire the whole time. Uh, but You Never Know is, is just one of those songs that I really wanted to hear them perform. And to, for me personally, I just think that it was one of their better performances of the night too. They killed every single one, but you know you always have your favorites in a, in a show. Uh, Jenny Solo, it never gets old, but damn. I knew that she was going to have something different. We all knew like there was that little bit of like the teaser or whatever that saying that like Jenny was like reworking some stuff and like um, redoing stuff or like she was remixing. I can't remember, but there was like rumors going around, right? The dance break intro that we've seen on like some of their the live stages and like performances before, I was really hoping she would do that and she did. So that was really cool. Um, I, li I was like literally said, what the F? I can't say it because I don't want to curse in here. When I was hearing those new verses, did you hear some of the lyrics in there? Just wait. I want to kind of do like a reaction like once um, like a breakdown almost like when some of it comes out. I didn't want to just do a full reaction video because it probably would have got taken down. But I want to like react to the new verses and like break them down. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe or maybe just let me know if you want to hear that. Uh, but damn, those verses, the new dance break at the end. I mean, it's solo. It's it's literally something that Jenny put her all into and hearing the remix version with like the new verses and like the new dance break. What else can I say? Absolutely. Now, one of the moments that everybody was waiting for, because this is huge, Rose solo, the B side, um, all, uh, all my love is gone one word and i literally wrote this down beautiful her vocals the stage like the like were those snippets of a music video are we getting two music videos because this is a b-side like we must be right like the, that's insane we we must be getting two music videos that's what i was literally i literally wrote that down i was thinking that the entire time like there's got to be two music videos there's there's got to be two but um the intro like when she was talking with all the words like the one words uh, and then she like went into the performance. I had chills the entire time. Her vocal ability is off the charts. These solo songs are going to take over the charts. It's it's going to take over. I, I don't think people really understand how much this is going to, you know, like boost Rosé's like, um, I, I would think like um, popularity within like just the pop world, like sh Blackpink in general should be you know, at the top, which they are most of the time, but like, this is going to help them outside of like, just the stereotypical like K-pop fan or like borderline K-pop fan, you're going to get people from outside of that 
coming in to check in Rose for her solo and then all of Blackpink, which is going to help the entire group. I think that this song was ins- like, again, I'm going to say the word insane. Her, I was hoping for something like this and uh, it was kind of like a ballad. So maybe her like um, title track is going to be different. But I was really, really hoping to get her vocal abilities on a track like this and showcase it. And uh, she definitely did this. Uh, the Pretty Savage um, performance again with the intro uh and i wrote this down this is the version of blackpink that the world is learning when i reacted to the album i said that they had their own sound like this is really who blackpink is now and uh this just displayed it once again uh this is the group that's dominating the world and this pretty savage performance i think like literally packs that in um the rock version like is insane since james corden i haven't stopped listening to it it's it's one of their better performances i i keep saying that maybe i just love the entire show which i did but i keep saying everything was so good the oh my god the dude do do the stage for d4 okay fire water insanity this and and this is where i was talking to you guys about this was a legacy performance this was them showing look at what we've accomplished look at what we've done um, because this is the song I think that like kind of uh, turns so many people into believers when you turn into a Blackpink fan after listening to this song. This was the first song that I reacted to. I think a lot of people listened to this song first because it was like a really high um, charting song. Like I-, I think it like kind of broke the barrier too uh, for a lot of different um, fans. And I'm not saying for everyone, but for for a lot of fans, like this was a song that like got them into K-pop, uh, especially for somebody like me. But um, like they danced in the water, like this was a legacy performance. This was them showing like, yo, look at what we've done, look at what we can do, and we're just getting started. This this was I don't know, maybe that's just me the way I looked at it, but it was it was an absolutely incredible performance. This was one of my favorite moments as a blink, like just as a fan of Blackpink, this was one of my favorite moments ever watching them um, perform because this this was literally everything that they've worked for in a performance. There was the dancing, they had dancers around them. They had, like I said, the water, the fire. Amazing. So, um, yo, and then Stay, when they did Stay there, like, uh, or when they did Stay with, like, them talking and, like, all the stuff in the background and them in the, like, empty arena. One of the deeper moments, one of the the moments as a blink where you're like, damn, like, this is, this, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe this is really happening right now. Um, but. I loved it. I thought I thought that that was really nice. Now, I also wrote here, if I didn't talk about all the performances, I apologize. I kind of wanted to just talk about like the main four performances that we wanted to see, like their their solo performances. Um, Rose's B-side track. We got the Jisoo solo stage. We got the, the J- uh, Jenny solo stage. We got the Lisa solo stage. We got everything. Um, we're looking forward to more tracks uh, from all four of them. Uh, and of course, Rose's is coming very soon. And then Jisoo, we got Lisa. And then I'm I'm hoping Jenny, man, like, could you imagine if Jenny gets one too? And they just go like, bing, 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 like, again, like Jenny gets another solo. That would be so fire. But all in all, um, the show was amazing. They they don't have a bad song. They don't have a bad performance. This This was, like I said, like, this was them showing you know, look at look at what we've accomplished, but look at what we're doing now and be ready for the future. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, again, it is 3.30 in the morning, so I can't exactly go crazy like I wanted to. I wish I could have reacted to the full show, but of course, like that's, it's literally illegal. I, I you know, you had to pay for it. You had to um, watch it on an official thing. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. If you are new, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Join the Andy gang. Shout out to Blackpink. Thank you for an amazing show. Uh, And let me know, guys, is Rose Solo like coming out like Monday or like what's going on? (laughs) I love and appreciate you guys. Peace.